Yes! Wow. You're good. Four brothers and I never lost a game. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. I've been meaning to tell you something. Mm -hmm. It's kind of embarrassing. You can tell me. What are you talking about? When I first saw that picture of you in the gossip column, it was, you know, it, it inspiring. What? I mean it. Just, just to see somebody else from Jersey who made it. <laughs> made it? You're kidding, right? I'm on a soap. Right. Wrong. Soap work is the pits. Why do you think I'm at 54 every night? I don't know. Maybe to meet somebody interesting. Exactly. And this business is all about who you know. And since I'm going to get a movie or die trying, there's no place better than 54. One big bender with business cards. See, the thing is, if you meet the right producer, like, Roland Sachs, for instance, you've got it made. I mean, he's got his hands in everything. Music, movies, clubs, everything. Right. But you don't need that. Shane, come on. You're a 54 bartender. You know how things work. I mean, you know what this is all about. I mean, you've had to maneuver. Sometimes use your charm, sometimes other things. Hmm? OK, you got me. You know, this place is really great. You can actually see people here. <laughs> You're cute. Starting the decade with the perfect kiss. What could be better than that? Picking up that 710 split. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do it first. No, you're not. It's mine. Forget it. Come on, honey. <laughs> hey, give me that ball. <laughs> so I made it. Bartending was the best job in the world. But for me, the big thing was when you were a bartender at 54, everybody knew your name. You were famous.